What's up guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. A very pleasant welcome from my home office here. Now, let me show you this real quick. This is actually, that's an F-18 sim that I have. And yeah, I log online and dogfight. Do a video of me dogfighting some MIGs, that'd be kind of cool. Anyways, I want to talk to you in this video about altitude constraints in the A320 when you're changing runways. I actually have another video that talks about this and I'm bringing it up because it came to mind yesterday as I was out flying. We got assigned a different, first we got assigned an altitude constraint, then we got assigned a different runway and the result of the runway change in the MCDU and the MCDU, otherwise known as the FMS, uh, results in the deletion of the altitude constraint. So we were coming in on the arrival, we got issued a clearance to cross OLOS at 5,000 feet, that's a point in Fort Lauderdale. We dial in 5,000 feet into the FMS, set it up in the FCU, and we get switched uh, runways from the left side to the right side. Basically what ends up happening now is when you go into the uh, MCDU and you put that new runway in there, all manually entered altitude constraints get deleted. So I knew that right away and after loading the new runway I went back and I re-entered the altitude constraint. But you know, if you're new to the plane or you didn't know that, that could get you, that could bite you there. So just be very mindful when you do any kind of uh, changing of runways in your MCDU that you double check all those altitude constraints, chances are they all got deleted, all right? So with that being said, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com, you know where to find us. There's some books I've written right behind me, everything from Flight Plan to AX3 to the Type Rating Playbook to Success, all available at OneStepPrep.com and OneStepPrep.net. Hope to work with you on one of those sites. We'll see you soon.